Welcome to the Collector's Review in another episode of Fake vs. Real. We go through the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 40th Anniversary NECA action figure. Can you tell which one's fake and which one's real? Stay tuned. Alright my people, welcome to another episode of Fake vs. Real with the collector's review you know the collection dimension brings you everything from comic books to action figures unboxing statue unboxings comic cons anything that has to do with collectibles anything you guys looking for just shoot in the comments and we'll try getting to it so if you could hit that little red button at the bottom and subscribe for your boy trying to get to 2000 so let's get to this action figure right here real quick I had some people asking for me to do the Texas Chainsaw Massacre next action figure so I finally got him in I actually got him in a little while ago but I'm finally getting to him with everything that I've been doing I don't know if you guys can tell which one is fake and which one is real if you guys have watched other episodes you could probably tell off top with this one and we are looking at the left one is the fake one so fake versus real so you can tell off with the whites the white is a little bit darker on this one kind of like it gives off like a little gray hint and no it's not the lighting so no matter which way I put the lighting I'm moving the lighting around still the same white so then we get to the top of the boxes let's show the top of the boxes real quick so here let me to I'll put the top though the top is the real the bottom is the fake so you see how the massacre is darker it's a darker red on the bottom and the 40th you can really tell in the 40th that is darker and then on the top one which is the real you can see with the box the dotted lines you can hardly see but with the bottom one very very dark very dark white so you can see right there then boom do this again sorry again with the massacre definitely see the different color in there the back of it you can definitely see that it's darker on this side I mean I definitely see but you can see in the shadowing right here compared to here and especially in the lighting there so when you look around him but definitely the massacre the massacre gives off that dark dark red hint so other than that on the back I don't see much let's show see the bottom so that's the bottom sorry here let me do this top is the real bottom is the fake so you see the dark difference here this is darker than this one you could definitely tell right there and the white pops more with this one up here though so even though this is darker like the the outlines like I said were whiter and popped more on top in the black but in this it seems like it's more lighter compared to this it pops more from right here you can read it easier so numbers are the same though boom boom so all that's the same so other than that let's see the picture inside so that's the picture inside so again fake real and you can kind of tell with the red if you look at the reds right here this is a little bit more bright like I said this is just a little bit more darker compared to this one so real quick let's get to the action figures man let me show you these bad boys real quick so let's get to these bad boys man and show you guys what the differences are alright so let's get the boxes out the way and see what we're dealing with here so on the left is the fake the right is the real so let's get you guys up close. All right. Let's look at their face real quick. Leather face. And to me, I don't know if you guys can tell. I can already tell off top a difference in the mask. The real one is more shiny and seems more detailed. You can see in the mouth. If you guys look at the mouth and then the eyes let me get the light so you guys can see good all right so 
there goes the heads you can tell the detail in like I said the mouth the mask period you see the stitching the stitching this is the stitching for the real one let me see if I can zoom in there just to get you guys a little closer alright you see that stitching that's pretty good and you see it goes around the forehead and then this one <laughs> yeah yeah that's those are just blotches seems like they might have tried a little bit more with this side but those are just blotches so on this one the stitching is very detailed in the mask so you see the mouth this one ain't as detailed just seems like it's more dark painted around the eyes look weird compared to this one yeah so definitely can see a difference in the mask then in this definitely too his cloth this is more of a light yellow this is more darker but one thing you could tell is with the stitching how the stitching goes around this is bigger thread stitching so they took longer strides compared to this this is more thin you see you can tell the difference big difference in there let me move his arms real quick sorry about that so you can tell a big difference in the stitching right there all the way yeah that goes down to the corner pretty good and this one and then also on the back see the cloth is different this is more of a well knitted together and this is more of like a cloth cloth and you can tell how it's stitched right there so that's the big tell right there for me is definitely his his apron and then on the back where it's here you see that cloth that's what I'm talking about that's the cloth how it's white and this they don't have it doesn't have that see it's more brown so definitely you can tell in this his mask too um, right there it's not even painted this the real one is painted all the way down that's a horrible paint job the let's see the let's see this the tie the real ones more detailed fake ones dull so yeah this is one of those figures that they ain't do too good on for the fake the one that I got again this is what I've received this is what I got so let's see the wrist real quick the looks like the wristband on the real one is more of a shiny metallic compared to this one this gold is like a dull gold then the pants pants seem like more of like a blue on the real one compared to these these are like a black these look like a navy blue I don't know you guys seeing the same thing and then the boots boots aren't bad but they don't move there you go they move a little bit but you could tell these are more shiny and seem like they got that more black shoe shine to them compared to the other ones but like I said the cloth is really what sets it off this you can really tell a hundred percent in it the back is more dirty on his shirt but all around that cloth is really what gives it away so let me show you guys real quick sorry I got the light turning off if you guys are still with me and you ain't subscribed yet hit that little red button at the bottom man I got a lot more coming so let me show you guys the heads real quick real quick show you guys the bottom of the feet 
So the left is the fake, the right is the real. So you can, I don't know if you guys can tell that the real, the fake one has a shiny black on it compared to this one. This one has a dull black. So you compare it to this one, way shinier. So left is the fake, right is the real. And off top, how the paint is. Just to seem like they, with this one, just outlined it and didn't really care as much. You can see this one, the eyes, around the eye, just way more detailed around the eye. And there around that mouth. See, with this one, you can see the lines where you can see the stitching. You see where it's shining on that black right there. And then you look at this one. It's just painted. You don't see no lines. You don't see no detail in it. Nothing like that. So yeah, you can tell a big difference in that. On the top of the heads. This one has a uh, little shine to it compared to this dull kind of. Left is the fake, right is the real. So yeah, with that, boom, both have two in there too. And the, the, even the skin tone on the bottom of this you see the different colors of skin tone that it's showing. La, the fake one is a little bit more pinker compared to the right one, which is the real, which has like a more real skin tone, but it's shiny too. So you see that shiny when you do that? This one isn't shiny. So the real one isn't shine like that, but it looks like they're using the same molds. So that was the mask. Let me show you guys the chainsaw. Right is the real, left is the fake. So let me go like this real quick. Boom, there we go. Right there, you can see definitely the detail in the shading right there. This one has a lot more blood splatter compared to this one, but this one I like. This, the, how the blood splatter when you're using a chainsaw looks like it shoots this way compared to this is just blood put on it so I do kind of like that effect and this one has a darker metal look compared to the fake one but the shading off top you can tell the shading off top you can definitely tell and this is more of like a the real ones more of like a dark chrome Yeah, this one, the, the fake one, has a lot more blood splatter compared to the real one. And then if you can see, up, oh, sorry. Then if you can see, what do you guys like? See, that's more colored in all black right there compared to this one. Then I like how this is right here compared to this one's all caved in. The black cord is all painted black solid black compared to this one doesn't but I do like how it has the blood but they do have quite a bit of blood on it compared to this one it's little splatters this one has big splatters all over it especially on this side but like I said this side the shading is way better to me oh and this is the top and the shading is better on the top too I like that a lot more. Let's try looking in there. And I like the blood splatter too. Because it, it's more 
all around compared to this is just like everywhere. I would like more blood on this, but I do understand where they were going, how they were doing it. So I'll move on to the these. All right. So left is the fake, right is the real. Left is more shiny, has more of a light brown tint to it, but it is more shiny. Looks like polished wood compared to the right one. Is I don't think it's supposed. It's not supposed to look like polished wood. So let me turn them around. Well, both of them are pretty good, but this the the real one. The real one has the dullness of like a wood piece, so that is nice. I don't know if you guys can tell. Here, let me see. A little off. So that's the one knife. Then we got the hammers. So let's go to this side. Still, left is fake, right is the real. Sorry guys, trying to show you guys. Here, I'll do it like this. The brown is a little bit different. So the right one is brown, the other one is like a blackish brown it seems like. So then on the top there you got the brown that the wood is popping through. This one is uh, just a steel color. And it looks like this one's more of a darker, a darker steel and this one's more of a shiny metallic paint that they used. Um, so the right is the real, left is the fake. And I like actually the mold lines on the fake one, just needed a better paint job. You see the mold lines, you can hardly see on the fake one. On the real one, you can see those mold lines. So let's go to the fork. So on the real one, the blood is brighter. Then on the fake, the fake is darker and it has more blood again. And the steel on that one, the steel look on that one is just a tad bit more darker than the real one. You can see the shine difference. And there goes the red. So this one has like a more old blood look and this one has like a fresh blood look. <laughs> and the last thing. Put your knives. So let's see the handles. Handles are kind of the same. The whole shape of it practically the same. Not much different. But then in the paint job, I see a little difference. Okay, in the handle. Let's get in there. A little difference in the handle. The right one looks better to me. So the real one just looks like more real wood, if you can tell. Flip it around to the other side real quick. See? So that was the last piece for that. And that was the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Fake vs. Real. So if you guys didn't see the other ones make sure you guys checked out the other ones I'll put them in the description I got a lot more to come the Jason 3d I got a couple it ones so make sure you guys keep a lookout I'm gonna keep on trying to give you guys what I receive this is what I received this time next time it might be better next time it might be worse you never know with the bootlegs you never know what you're gonna get and just got to keep on checking. So until next time, man, like always, like, share, and subscribe. Help your boy get to 2,000 subscribers, man. Been trying to push in to give you guys all I got. Until next time, this is Collector's Review with Fake vs. Real. I'm out. Peace.